Indigenous people are commonly asked by non-Indigenous people about our identities um, and commonly people ask questions like um, what percentage are you or even what are you um, and even um, as, you know as someone that is uh, is physically read as ethnically ambiguous, even when I reply that I am Aboriginal, that I am Mananjali, um, I get responses such as, but you don't look it, um, you don't sound Aboriginal, um, but you're different, you're an exception too. Um, and so Indigenous people are commonly having our identities questioned. It's really interesting when people ask me questions like that, like how many parts Aboriginal you don't really look like you're a real Aboriginal. Um, and I think it's a really good opportunity to educate people about what a real Aboriginal is, you know, um, and it's not necessarily somebody who lives in the desert and eats grubs and doesn't have any education. It's about a whole raft of things that we as Aboriginal people are and um, what, you know, how we've, uh, how we've developed since colonisation started right through. Well, I, I often answer that one with uh, sharing a story of my mum's, um, when she's asked that question, she says uh, her left breast and her right big toe. When people ask me that question, the only response that I can give is really that Aboriginal people don't think about ethnicity or race or Aboriginality in percentages or parts at all. Um, really, Aboriginality is not about ethnicity. Um, it's about our connection, really, our connection to each other, to our culture and to our homelands. I have been asked that before and I uh, reflect on, on a story that um, I knew or what I experienced growing up because growing up in an Aboriginal family, you, you're an Aboriginal person um, and you're not ever asked what, how, how much of a percentage of Aboriginal, Aboriginal are you? Um, and so I remember um, going to school in Mekathara. So Mekathara is in Western Australia, it's a small town. And starting school, I was asked the question, not about percentage, but about are you a half caste? And um, it, the concept was so foreign to me, I've never been asked that question before, that I went home crying to my mum because I thought they were calling me a cow. I thought that they were saying, asking me if I was half calf, so half a calf, half a cow, and so that was really upsetting to me. But um, it is a, a common question, it is a question that people um, often think about as well. I guess the, the issue of, you know, what percentage Aboriginal are you and those sort of things do come up a bit. Um, I've found it hasn't been a, a big issue for me, but I've always at the start of any PBL groups, I always, you know, said, I'm Aboriginal, this is my mob. Um, we don't really have percentages. You, you just, you know, all the myths that people have, you just kind of try and debunk it at the start. So I think for the people that are well-intentioned and curious, it's a really good opportunity to educate. So I think the way I approach it is I say to them, look, I, I, you know, it's a, I really welcome your question, um, but, just so you know, there's a, there's a long-standing history of um, this blood quantum phenomenon, and I actually don't subscribe to that. Um, the blood quantum is is you know the percentage of, of whether or not you fit into um, an indigenous background or an, or not. It's more of a reflection of the person who asks the question than the person who the question is intended for. Yeah. Um, I, I've never I've heard that kind of question a lot, but it's never been from another indigenous person. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and, I, you know, a lot of people talk about the, you know, the coffee analogy. You have a, have a cup of coffee, you can keep putting milk in it, but it's still coffee, that kind of yeah. thing. But for me, probably the most important part of, you know, why we don't judge our Aboriginal, Aboriginality or our indigeneity, in fact, by our skin colour is uh, it, it's a lot more, in, what's in your heart is far more important than what's on your skin. But you can really just feel whether or not someone's out for um, an intellectual discussion and a learning opportunity or whether or not someone's out to have a go at you. Um, really use the, the, the opportunity with someone who's, who's kind and gentle and curious and maybe a little misguided as a, as a time to sit down and engage in discussion with them about, you know, about history and about who you are. And, you know, I always tell people the varieties of, of, of backgrounds that I, I have. And I would say that as a child, for me, I grew up um, listening to the stories, uh, our folk stories, our cultural stories 
our legends from my father and my elders and learning about our homelands um, and knowing that I was connected to them, really being brought up in a way that I belonged in a place rather than to a people. So that's what I would say Aboriginality really is, and it's not about percentages. Yeah, my mum's French and German, my dad's Aboriginal and South Sea Islander as well. And it's even though there's four different groups and probably more than that anyway, it's still, I still identify as Aboriginal just as much as anything else, but it's who I identify with, with more. And you, you know, your mum's female, your dad's male, it doesn't make you 50% male, 50% female. So along those same lines, there's no real percentage. So you need to make that clear with people as well and it helps them understand where you're coming from. As Aboriginal people, we come in all different colours, shades, sizes, tall, short. I'm on the shorter side. <laughs> but, you know, we're Aboriginal because we are descended from um, Aboriginal people and we are recognised by as being Aboriginal by our community. Um, and that's, that's the main thing. So we come in all shapes, sizes, colours and it um, uh, doesn't affect our central identity as Aboriginal people. Um, an old man once asked me if I was Aboriginal and I said, oh, I'm part Aboriginal. And he said, boy, you either is or you isn't. <laughs> and I think that's what it is for us, you know. Um, if you identify as being Aboriginal, that's what you are. You yeah. And we're all at different journeys, yeah. um, our, our cultural journeys. And I think what we need to be doing is helping and supporting each other with that. Uh, not necessarily um, putting someone down for that. We need to grab that brother or sister and, and bring them along with us. Um, and again, that's reflective of, of, of our way and, and what, what you know, you'd expect to see in the heart of a, an Indigenous person. So today, Indigenous people are subjected to these assertions that we're not really Indigenous. And as Indigenous people, we have to refuse to engage in those conversations. We have to recognise them for what they are and that's a tool to undermine our sovereignty in this country. It's a tool to dismiss our presence here. And it's not about skin colour. It's about something much deeper than that. <laughs>